Hi guys, this is Toddy Full and for today, we're going to upgrade the shit Modi Motivate firmware. I'm actually quite happy with the performance of the Modi Motivate, but I heard that there was a new software update that improved the sound quality a bit. If you have an older Mimbi, mine is 2017, you can contact shit and send the MIMBY to them or do it yourself if you're comfortable around electronics. Keep in mind though that if you have a newer MIMBY, you probably already have this so check with shit if it's available for your MIMBY. After doing the modification, there were definitely improvements. Some are subtle and some are definitely there. The first thing I immediately noticed is the bass. It was a bit more refined with slightly less volume but a lot more grip. It's also a little bit clearer and the delineation between the instruments are improved as well. Soundstage seems slightly reduced, but with the other improvements, this is fine with me. I also think it's a touch more exciting, but not a whole lot. So all in all, a little improvement here and there, and if you're unfortunate enough to watch my Mimbi vs Chord Mojo video, it was basically a tie depending on listening preference, but I think this upgrade just tips the scale to the Mimbi. For $35, if you have an older Mimbi, I definitely recommend this. So let's pry it open and do the upgrade. Before we start, remember that you do this at your own risk and there are a lot of things that could go wrong. So if, make sure you're mindful and don't do it for the first time with the camera right in front of you. Not totally unlike what I'm doing. So definitely just send it to shit unless you really can't. You just need a screwdriver, something to pry off the original chip. And that's it. Remember to ground yourself occasionally and it would be better if you have an anti-static strap. We take out the four screws then slide out the upper cover being careful not to bend the LEDs up front. Also be careful with the input switch as it will fall out once the lid is removed. The chip we're taking out is near the front left. If you look sideways, there's a small gap that we can leverage to pull out the chip. I use a smaller flathead screwdriver to pry out the original chip. If you have a chip pulling tool, you can use that, but a tweezer like this won't work. What I did was to insert the screwdriver in the gap, then turn it a little, then the other side, until it comes out. Um, this is probably not the best way to do it, so maybe just send it to shit for them to do it. So just take your time and wedge it out slowly and evenly so you don't accidentally break any legs. Take note of where the notch is as you will need to orient the new chip in the same way. Next, we get the new chip. Again, the notch should be pointing towards the left side. If the legs are a bit wide, you can try to squeeze them evenly so they shoot easier into the slot. Again, take your time and push them in making sure you don't bend any legs. Once you're done, double check your work and make sure it's in. Finally, you just need to slide the case back in. This is actually the most difficult part for me but again just have patience and take your time. Put the button back to the case, make sure you line up the LEDs in the hole and check if it will slide in. Mine was a little bit bent so it took me longer but you'll get it. Put the screws back in and you're done. Test it out and if it doesn't work, send to shit. My shoot without editing was about 10 minutes and 23 seconds from start to finish so it's not a long job nor did I encounter major issues but always be patient. So that's it. And again, if you just got your MIMB recently, there's no need for the upgrade and you already have this. If it's older, then it's well worth the $35 plus shipping you'll definitely hear the difference. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any comments or suggestions, just write them down below. See you in the next video.